Hello, welcome to the College of Arts and Sciences at Santa Clara University. I'm Julie Chang, Associate Dean of Arts and Sciences. I've been an English professor at Santa Clara University since 2001. I'll give an overview of the college, focusing on the distinctive learning opportunities at SCU in and beyond the classroom. I will start with a snapshot of the College of Arts and Sciences, as well as a brief overview of the kinds of departments and programs in the college. As you watch this presentation, I'd like you to think about how you or your student can make the most of the opportunities that SCU has to offer. You'll hear about student projects and college events as examples of how SCU fosters learning for a 21st century world in our curriculum and in co-curricular activities. The College of Arts and Sciences is the heart of Santa Clara University and home to the programs traditionally associated with a liberal arts education. Interdisciplinary teaching and research and educating the whole person are truly hallmarks of a Santa Clara experience. This education begins with an innovative and engaging core curriculum. It continues into our majors as well. Study in the creative arts includes courses offered by Studio Art, music and theater and dance, as well as the creative writing program in the English department. We can see in the top picture, a course taught by Professor Bruno Ruviaro, in which he leads a laptop orchestra, an innovative musical ensemble using cutting edge technologies. The DSSA Museum offers opportunities for student learning such as working on and writing about art exhibits. The humanities refers to the study of how we process and document human experiences and cultures. Here we have classic students in Professor Carolyn Roncaglia's class using uh, something called reflectance transformation imaging to decipher ancient inscriptions. In addition to classics, students can take courses in art history, English, ethnic studies, history, modern languages and literatures, philosophy, religious studies, and women's and gender studies. Many of these fields like ethnic studies and women's and gender studies are interdisciplinary as well. 21st century jobs demand a broad set of flexible, innovative skills to be successful, such as creativity, innovation, risk-taking, critical thinking, and collaboration. These skills draw broadly from the liberal education provided by many of the disciplines and departments to which I've referred. There are many opportunities for discernment in early courses in the core curriculum. Students take core courses or introductory courses in various departments and discover the field or fields that they want to major or minor in and pursue in more depth. The natural sciences refer to the scientific study of the natural world offered by our departments of biology, chemistry and biochemistry, environmental studies and sciences, mathematics and computer science, neuroscience, physics, and public health. Professor Laura Kokos, whose research is funded by the National Institutes of Health, studies neural activity in patients with multiple sclerosis. At the bottom right is an image from Professor Kokos's lab of 300 neurons in the mouse brain. We recently launched a major in neuroscience because we observed a burgeoning interest in the field on the part of students who are double majoring in psychology and biology. We had 54 neuroscience majors in its first year. Social sciences refer to the study of human behavior. You might be familiar with social science disciplines like political science or sociology. In addition, we offer anthropology, child studies, communication, economics, military science, and psychology. These are images of work on campus archeology span projects, physical anthropology students traveling to do research in Costa Rica, and psychology student Caitlin Escobar working in the lab of professors Matt Bell, Patty Simone, and Lisa Whitfield on a project on learning and memory. Student Maria Khoury Haddad worked with economics professor Michael Kavane to write a guide to creating and sustaining ethical libraries in African villages. This project was funded by the Marco Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara. Our exceptional faculty are highly accomplished scholars and dedicated teachers. The Henry Dreyfus Teacher Scholar Award is a prestigious award for early career faculty in the field of chemistry. Professor Amelia Fuller won the award for her sticky science 
that makes it easier to identify water contaminants for cleanup. Professor Corn Wheeler won for her research toward prediction of nanoparticle biomolecular interactions and reactivity. Professor Paul Abiad received the award in support of his research on sorting cancer cells based on metabolism using droplet microfluidics. All three of these faculty provide students with numerous opportunities to collaborate on research. Professor Aldo Billingsley, William J. Rewak SJ professor in our Department of Theater and Dance is an equity actor, which allows him to share his professional stage experience with his students. He's appeared in numerous regional and national stage productions and is a skilled Shakespearean performer. Professor Billingsley teaches numerous courses on acting and theater. Professor Kat Saxton is the director of the public health program and a professor of biology. She teaches courses in epidemiology, the study of the distribution and determinants of health-related events. Her research is on the effect of social experiences on biology and health. The expertise of Professor Saxton and other public health faculty has helped Santa Clara University in planning our response to current COVID-19 crisis. Hundreds of students major in and take courses in public health. We clearly see day to day how public health is an integral part of the fabric of our society and how important public health expertise is. An example of cross-disciplinary teaching includes English professor Kirsten Lunar and studio arts professor Kathy Aoki's course, Slow Tech, Critical Making with the Letterpress, in which students work with and reflect on 19th century technologies of text making in light of the current digital age. The letterpress was a recent acquisition of the college. And our facilities also include the Imaginarium, a virtual reality lab. I'll give a few examples of courses that incorporate the Imaginarium. Lissa Croft and Slate and Classics developed a virtual reality supplement to help students to reinforce grammar, build and reinforce vocabulary, develop listening skills, and learn about Roman culture, hoping to give new context to people studying Latin, not as a dead language, but as something people once used in regular conversation. Andrew Keener in English created a virtual and interactive model of Shakespeare's Globe Theatre in London to enhance student experience and expand lessons on Shakespeare's plays. Students who have already learned about Renaissance theatre architecture in their courses have the chance to explore the virtual reality space and experience the Globe Theatre in a more immersive mode. Elizabeth Day in Child Studies uses the Imaginarium to teach future teachers. Students in her technology and education course create lesson plans that involve virtual reality equipment in order to make their lessons come to life for the children they will be teaching. The College of Arts and Sciences offers many opportunities for student faculty collaboration. Speaking from my own experience, working as an undergraduate student with a faculty member finally honed my research and presentation skills and prepared me well for professional life. Here I'll give several examples of student faculty collaboration in the college. Iris Stewart Frey, an environmental studies and sciences professor, together with students Jackie Rogers and Anne Graham, published a paper on disparate impacts of their recent severe drought on environmental flows and water supplies in central California. On March 6, Kirsten Lunar in English and Dana DeSopo co-presented their paper by a woman in red, Anne B. Points and the Blush of the Page at the 28th Annual British Women Writers Conference. 11 SCU physicists attended the 2019 American Physical Society's Far West meeting at Stanford on November 1st through 2nd. Senior physics major Kelly Fredette presented the research she did at SCU with fellow undergraduate Ricky Arnold and Professor Bachana Lanzadze in physics. You can see SCU's global engagement website for more information on study abroad. 75% of SCU students who take advantage of study abroad are from the College of Arts and Sciences. The Ignatian Center offers local and global immersion programs for students in locations like San Jose, Costa Rica, Kenya and Tanzania, and the Arizona border. Some of these programs are suspended for now, but we will return to them when the time is right. Every year, the College of Arts and Sciences hosts a performing artist as the Frank Sinatra Chair to work closely with students on artistic projects. Past Frank Sinatra Chairs include 
Anna Devere Smith in 2016 to 17, renowned American playwright, actress, and professor. The Silk Road Ensemble in 2016 to 17, a musical ensemble promoting collaboration among artists and institutions. W. Kamal Bell in 2017 to 18, known for United Shades of America, an Emmy award-winning CNN program. Tay Diggs in 2018 to 19, American actor, singer, and children's book author, known for the Broadway play Rent and the dramatic television series Private Practice. And Rhiannon Giddens in 2019 to 20, Grammy-winning singer, songwriter, and recipient of a MacArthur Foundation Genius Award. I'll continue with some more examples of learning beyond the classroom at Santa Clara. Research shows that paid internships increase the earning power of an undergraduate over their career lifetime. The College of Arts and Sciences developed the Real Internship Program to allow students to discover their interests, gain a rich understanding of a particular field, discern their career goals, and explore future employment fields. Real stands for Real Experiences Active Learning. We believe financial means should not determine whether or not a student can participate in internships, research, or creative works opportunities. About 75 real students were funded this summer 2020 to do remote internships and limited in-person research with students representing 25 of our 33 majors. Examples of some past projects include a student working on phantom limbs at the VA hospital in his hometown of San Diego, and a student working at World Vision in Washington, DC an organization dedicated to ending violence against children internationally. We were pleased to host some distinguished guests last year. The VARI special event featured pianist Francesco Teresi. Teresi performed for us in February with Sinatra chair Rhiannon Giddens. While the DiNardo lectureship was postponed, Ziad Obermeyer met with students to discuss his research on health algorithms and racial bias. Last fall, our Shane Evans visited campus, attending classes to interact with students and completing a printmaking project with Professor Kathy Aoki. This graph illustrates the most highly in-demand skills for all occupations. As I mentioned, the highest in-demand skills include creativity, innovation, risk-taking, collaboration, and critical thinking, all skills that a Santa Clara education offers. Santa Clara University has been ranked the best college for employment in the state of California. Our students pursue rewarding careers in fields such as architecture, technology, and entertainment industries. Our alumni are quite distinguished. Stephen Hobbs, 2011, won the public, public, sorry, public Service Pulitzer Prize for team coverage of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting in Parkland, Florida. The story, published by the South Florida Sun Sentinel, uncovered a number of shortcomings by the school and law enforcement in Parkland. In addition, Tatiana Sanchez, 2010, also received the Pulitzer Prize in 2017 for her coverage of the ghost ship fire in Oakland. Allie Wagner, 2002, was an announcer at the 2019 FIFA World Cup. During her first year at SCU, she began playing on the U.S. women's national team in 1998, and led SEU to the NCAA Women's Soccer National Champ Championship in 2001. Allison Kopp, 2011, named as one of the notable Forbes 30 Under 30 in 2019, founded Agrilist in 2015. Agrilist is a web-based software program that uses data to help indoor growers accurately manage their crops. Allison has received multiple other recognitions, including the 2017 Changemaker of the Year Award by the Association for Vertical Farming and the Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 2017 by Technically Brooklyn. We are also proud of Bly Pagan Faust, 1997, who won an Oscar for producing the film Spotlight. As you can see, the College of Arts and Sciences at Santa Clara University is an exciting place to be, offering a world-class education in the curriculum and co-curriculum in the classroom and remotely. I would be happy to take any of your questions. Please feel free to email me at jchang at seu.edu, jchang at seu.edu.
www.edu.edu. Thank you and have a good day.